we're going to look at how we can format tables in the output file. Because we can copy and paste these or export them to a Word document or whatever it is we want to do as PDFs. Um, but first, we may want to format them rather than create our own table from scratch. So I'm going to show you a few options to do that. Now, in order to edit a table, um, you can right-click and choose Edit Content. Um, or you can just double click on your table and when you double click you should get a formatting toolbar that opens up and your table should have these dashed lines around the outside to show you that you're in the editing mode. Now just a simple edit you can highlight any of the data cells and you can change the font and you can change the size whether it's bold how it's aligned um, but a, a bit more sophisticated way of editing is to go to the table looks. So I right clicked anywhere in the table, it doesn't matter, and I'm going to choose table looks. Now here I can choose the style of table that I show. So I could choose an academic style, um, a blue yellow contrast, there's lots of options here. I'm going to choose the compact academic style and then click OK. And now you notice my table has now changed. It's much smaller. It has a different um, border and pattern, and it looks more academic. I could leave it as it is, but if I wanted to say bold any of the figures, so for example, I wanted to bold the totals, I could do that, or I could bold the data, or I could um, make my labels a bit larger. Um, if I wanted to do that, if I right click and choose table properties, here I have the option to format um, all of the data in my table. Now, the area is what you're formatting, so do you want to format the title, um, the layers, the column labels, the row labels, the actual data that's inside the table, maybe you want to format the caption or the footnotes. I'm just going to format the data, and that will be the numbers in my table. And inside of my table, I'm going to make the font a bit bigger just so that you can see the difference. I'm going to change it to size 14 and then click apply. Now I can choose to change the background color of my cells. Um, I can choose to change the color of my font. I can choose to have alternating row colors. So maybe every other row I want to be shaded a light gray, for example. Go ahead and click apply and then click OK. And you'll notice now that the data in my table is a much larger font than my labels and my alternating rows are shaded gray. There's lots of things you can do with the editor. editor. You can also, if I go back, double click, um, I can change uh, male and female, smoker, non-smoker, so that they're flipped around. Um, this little icon here is your pivot table controls. So if you want to pivot the table, click on that icon. And now I'm going to flip my gender and smoker. So I'm going to take gender and drag it over. And I'm going to take smoker and drag it over here. And now I've got smoker, non-smoker, male, female. So you have a lot of um, power to rearrange your table and make it look just like you want to. If you don't like any of the items in the table or maybe you want to minimize it, maybe I don't want to include expected count. I can highlight and I can hit the delete key and delete rows like that. So maybe I just want to show the actual counts rather than the expected count. Now in all honesty I probably wouldn't do it that way. I would just create a table without the expected count because I now have this extra column which I could delete as well um, to make my table a bit more compact. But there's lots of things. Uh, I encourage you to just have, an, have a go at it, explore, see what you can do, and make your table look like you want.